Hi everyone, my name is Pradol and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a rupees hundred haul from Nike. I've already done a part one literally two years ago. I had part two for a long time, but I couldn't find good products. Um, and I didn't just want to show you random hundred rupee products. These products I've tried myself and they're all quite nice. So yeah, let's get started with today's haul. So I think let's start with skincare. The first product that we have is from Nika, their brand and it's a pimple patch so it's a spot patch a pimple patch it has tea tree oil and salicylic acid in it and it comes with 12 patches if you don't know what these are essentially if you get a pimple or a breakout you can apply the patch on your pimple and it's supposed to absorb all the gunk out and by the next day you're supposed to have little bit more flatter skin ye aap use kar sakte ho underneath your makeup as well like apply it on bare skin and then apply makeup on top if you don't want the makeup to directly get in touch with the pimple Then we have a face mask. So this is a Multani Mitti face mask. This has turmeric and rose also in it, rose petals in here. This comes with two sachets, something like this. I went to the ingredients and the ingredients actually looked quite nice to me. So it has Multani Mitti. Then it has rose petals, rose oil, turmeric powder, kaolin clay, calamine powder and bentonite. So if you have oily skin, you will love this. In general, if you have oily skin, you will really like clay masks. And this just like sucks all the gunk out of your skin. Definitely makes you feel less oily, but does not dry your skin out. So that I really, really like. The only issue with this is storage. You're going to have to transfer it in a different container. And thoda sa wo angle mein hassle hai. But other than that, I feel like it's quite manageable. I've transferred mine in like a honey ka bottle, but it's not that big of a deal. It's very inexpensive. And I I feel like you should try it out, especially if you have oily skin. Then we have nose strips from Sanfe. So these are the deep purifying nose strips. These have Fuji green tea and witch hazel. Comes with three nose strips. You're supposed to wet your nose, apply it on your nose and then let it stay for like 10 minutes and then peel it off. So initially when I used this product, I felt like it was too flimsy and it might not do the job, but it actually worked. And one more thing, it's not like most nose strips where it's so harsh that it makes you tear up and you literally start crying. It was effective enough that my white heads got out. This white color, ka hai, so I can't really show you. Usually black strip, hota hai, you can really see all the gunk that it's pulled out. But in real life, I can see definitely from the sides of my nose, especially it's picked up quite a bit. Now, to be honest, I wouldn't recommend using nose strips on a regular basis, but I feel you like if you have oily skin and if you have a lot of buildup that happens, nose strips can be nice every now and then. And for those times, this one is a good one. Another product that I wouldn't recommend using on a daily basis, but once in a while, I personally do like to indulge in these, which are under eye patches. So here I have Manish Malhotra's revitalizing golden eye mask. These have almond and carrot in them. Firstly, I love the pattern, the golden crisscross pattern on the under eyes. It's very, very fancy and they were very juicy. I will recommend putting them in the fridge before you use them. Feels very cool cooling and hydrating. I know a lot of people are of the opinion that you shouldn't be using these single use eye patches, sheet masks, lip masks, stuff like that. And I do agree to a certain extent, but I feel like it's about the process of feeling good and that self care element. So again, once in a while, I really enjoy using these things. And in my opinion, I do see a difference as well. So I'm going to give this product a thumbs up. Let's do some body care. I really have been enjoying trying and using new types of body washes and I was really excited to find this one from Lux under 100 rupees. This is in the variant Black Orchid and it has juniper oil in it. It's paraben free and the bottle also used is 100% recyclable which is amazing. I bought this online and when I bought it online I didn't have a lot of expectations. I mean, I knew that it would be good. Lux's body washes are very good. They lather really well and they smell also quite nice but when I smelt it in person, it actually smells like something that could be sold at Bath & Body Works. 
It's a really nice fragrance. It's very floral. So if you like floral, you will really like this. We have one more body wash and this is for 40 rupees only. This is from Vivelle and this is in the variant Mint and Cucumber. So I was expecting it to smell very fresh and I was expecting it to smell like cucumbers, but it's very, very deodorant vibes. Like not in a bad way, but if you like that cologne guy smell kind of, this is what it smells like. Again, lathers really well, cleans your body really well. And I feel like I'm going to add this to my travel pouch because it's so tiny and so nice. I had to add this product because it's a chota version 100 rupees ke under aata hai. And if you know me, this is my favorite body lotion ever. If I had to pick just one, I will pick this one. There's actually a really funny story how I discovered this product when I got my first tattoo. This was what was recommended to me by the tattoo parlor, tattoo salon. Um, They said that this is very gentle and it's very moisturizing and I feel like that is so true. But more than that, the fragrance of this is out of the world. This is aloe vera and it also has cucumber in it. At least I can smell Thoda cucumber type smell. It's so refreshing. You can use it at night. You can use it in the morning. Amazing for AM and PM. Then I have oral care products. The first one is a really interesting one. It's a mouth spray, but by Colgate. It's like a herbal variant. It's a Veit Shakti mouth protectant spray. Instantly kills germs. Ekdam chotu sa product at 10 grams. Aapko isme milega. Very easy to travel with. Anyways, I do like to keep a mouth spray in my bag. And this was a new one that I tried it out. Okay, so I do like it. It's not as strong as the other mouth sprays that I have, which I actually like because it's very overwhelming. It's a little subtle. Sa hai. But one thing, it doesn't like spray all over. It sprays in like a single line. I don't know if the camera is catching it, but it like sprays in a line. So it kind of doesn't hurt you, but you're kind of caught off guard. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing, but kafi acha hai. And then we have a toothpaste, very random. I wasn't even going to add this in the video. I was actually restocking a toothpaste because my house was finished. But I was like, you know what? I should talk about my favorite toothpaste. This is the Meswax. Pure Meswak extract. This has 0% fluoride. It has no parabens. It has no triclosan. I hope I'm saying that right. But this tastes amazing. It tastes like Varyali soft. Bohati refreshing hai. Subha ke liye, raat ke liye, dono ke liye. I personally don't like the aftertaste of using regular like Colgate or toothpaste, jo ekdam strong minty flavor jo hota hai. Because after that, you have to wait for like a couple of minutes to eat anything. Otherwise, it just feels weird. With this one, that's not the case. You can immediately eat anything, but at the same time, it's very fresh. So yeah, that's the next product. Let's move on to the exciting part, which is makeup. There's quite a lot of makeup, which I am so impressed by. So I have not included base products like foundation, concealer that are under 100 rupees because I don't know how safe it would be. But I have done other products like lipsticks and stuff like that. I personally am only sharing with you guys the things that I feel comfortable putting on my skin if that makes any sense. So let's start with a primer. This is the Insights Pore Minimizing Primer. It's a very chotu travel size mini version. And this reminds me a lot of Benefits Professional. It's very similar in terms of the consistency. It's very silicone hai and blur. Karta hai. I think you can also see for yourself. It's very mattifying, very blurring. But one thing with this is that it has tiny little grit, gritty thoda sa texture. Hai. Like it's not smooth. You do need to blend it out. It will eventually melt into your skin, but something worth noting. I think overall, I would give it like a 7 out of 10. It's not wow, but it's not bad. Then we have this compact from Blue Heaven. This is called the Pearl Glow Compact Powder. This has SPF 15, PA++++. So as the name suggests, it is a little bit luminous. It has pearls in it. I was actually really impressed with the shade match. I usually don't get my shade in affordable cosmetics, but shade shade was quite apt. It was a little bit, you could say, brightening under my eyes, but it was nice. And it is very like luminous. Like if you like to have that luminous glow, then sure, you can go ahead. I, for the first time, don't hate it. Otherwise, I hate powders that have like a sheen or shine in it because I want my powder to mattify. But this one was very subtle. If you have texture on your skin, avoid it. But if you have dry skin, you might 
like it. Then we have this brow product from Blue Heaven. It's called True Brow Brow Definer. I am so impressed with this product. Right from the way it's shaped in like that triangular form, it just makes application so much easier. It's waxy, it has color and the color is also perfect. Definitely pick this one up. It is such a good find under rupees 100. I love this. Another product from Blue Heaven, which I was so impressed by. First of all, let's talk about the packaging. How fun is the purple with the neon? Love the colors together. But the product in itself, I love the applicator. It's so thin. It makes the application so precise. The actual product is also so black. I think overall, I really like it and I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Then we have this blush from Miss Claire. It's a baked powder duo is what it says. And this is not a blush. Let's start off by saying that it is more like a highlighter and it's actually not bad. It's not glittery. It's not chunky. It's very luminous i feel like i would have really liked it if i would have gone in with a smaller brush and like applied it where it's like needed rather than like going all over but i thought that it was a blush so it looked a little bit funny but i feel like as a highlighter it's very pretty let's talk about an actual highlighter again another product that i am so impressed by this is by insight cosmetics and this is a highlighter this is in the shade cosmic power and it's like a cream highlighter and it is so so pigmented and the shade is so perfect for Indian skin tone. I personally really like champagne tones. Let me swatch it for you guys in real time. So beautiful. I feel like if you don't have a good highlighter, try it out. Moving on to the lips. So lip liner. This is a lip liner that I use any which ways in my day to day. This is the Swiss Beauties liner and this is for 52 rupees. This also comes in like a pack of 12 I believe and you get all the shades that you could ever need. Literally you could just buy that one thing and be sorted. Sub colors hai usme. Now these I didn't like initially but what I've realized is that you need to warm up the product behind your hand or wherever and uh, then it becomes creamy. Otherwise it's not super creamy but I feel like it lasts a really good time so yeah I really like these lip liners I did see this one this is from inside cosmetics again this is a lip liner and I wanted to try it out I will say this one is way more creamier than the Swiss Beauty ones however I don't know how this would retract because it's not working it's not working but it's very creamy and it comes in nice shades but I feel like it's better to go with the Swiss Beauty ones in case you're looking for lip liners. The last product that we have is again from Inside Cosmetics. It's like a lip gloss. It's called the Long Wear Color Rich Lip Gloss. The color that I've gone for is called Sheer Coral. When I saw it in person, I was like, oh, it's metallic. It's not that cute. But when I swatched it on my hand and swatched it on my lip, I actually really liked it. So it's very glossy, very hydrating, and it's not extremely sticky. Thoda sticky hai, I will say, but not too sticky. For the price, I think it's quite nice. And I think with that, I'm going to end today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Of course, all the products are going to be linked in the description box below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!